Hey, movies and shakers, lovely to see you again. <laughs> Love to see you too. We want to ask, when you were writing this script, were there times when you said, that's it, I've got it, I know what to do here? Gosh, I mean, I think, I think really I don't put pen to paper until it's completely finished in my head. So I know, I kind of know everything about it before I transcribe it. So I guess it's just a very, very, very long process of all of those little moments, yeah. Did you ever change anything specifically? You don't have to be specific. I mean, I, I, well, I changed it. I mean, I, I've, been, I've been thinking about it for sort of seven or eight years. So lots changed over the course of the, you know, the thinking about it and the planning it. But, um, but you, you know, you try and preserve its kind of integrity as much as you can by not changing too much once it's down on paper, I find. Uh, Emerald, you imbue Oliver, I mean, as complicated as he is, but you imbue him with a superpower. He has a superpower to bend people to his will. Yeah. That is, I, I found fascinating in, in a character who has so many other things working behind the scenes. Uh, how much fun was it to create that character? I mean, so fun, and I think that's really what I'm always interested in, is how we interact with each other, and what kind of lies we tell ourselves and other people. You know, it's every, every conversation is a power game. In, you know, especially in drama or comedy even, you know, who's, who's the stooge, who's the straight man, you know, like it's, and so somebody who's, somebody who is an expert at kind of manipulation is always fascinating. But at the same time, it's also interesting, like what, what the limits of that, what the pleasure limits are for somebody who's good at seeing other people, but isn't really able to fully see themselves, I guess. Lots of people get lost in salt burn. This place, it's not for you. I can honestly say that these last few months have been the happiest of my life. There is a lot of nudity in this film, but it's yes. not for sex. It yes. is for other reasons. Can yes. you talk about that? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Kind of, I think all of the scenes of intimacy in this film are very... Um, contain no nudity at all, they're almost all in close-up or in, in profile, um, you know, in shadow rather, in silhouette. And the nudity is about other things. And I think it's, you know, it's sort of, it's always about the way that you, you know, use the human body and to, to kind of show things stylistically and metaphorically. And I think it was, yeah, I, I, you know, you don't need people to be naked to have an erotic scene. Provocative, but for other reasons. Yes, exactly.